Hi, I'm Larry Anglesano, Aviation Consumer Magazine. You know, I'm still not convinced that angle of attack systems are a cure-all for keeping pilots out of the stall spin accident reports. But for guys like me that measure landing finesse on a Richter scale, there could be some value. That includes reduced wear and tear on the brakes, tires, airframe, and of course the Ego. Now I was feeling a lot of that when I recently flew Safe Flight's new leading edge speed control system, which also has low speed alerting and an angle of attack system. Now the SCC is Safe Flight's latest generation and now certified speed control AOA system. Compared to earlier models I've flown from Safe Flight, it's come a long way. Let's have a quick look. Now remember that it was Safe Flight that invented the stall warning lift detection system way back in the 1940s and pioneered the lift transducer in the 1950s. Now this new SCC speed control system leverages similar leading edge wing sensor technology and Safe Flight says that using leading edge lift transducers is the most accurate way of measuring angle of attack because the system is accurate regardless of aircraft weight, wing loading, turbulence, or wing flap configuration. Now, just how does it do that? Well, it uses a lift transducer similar to a stall warning vane, which is a electromechanical vane that's specifically designed to detect the location of the wing stagnation point and then relay that signal back to an index or computer installed on the aircraft glare shield. Now, if there's a downside to measuring a more accurate AOA by referencing the wing stagnation point, it's the effort that may be required to mount the lift detector on the leading edge of the wing. On many aircraft, this will require cutting of the wing's leading edge to mount the sensor. Now, there are some notable improvements to this new SCC compared to the older system that Safe Flight had. Uh, for instance, the old mechanical AOA reference marker has been replaced with a new LED marker. That's a scrolling white LED arrow on the right side of the indexer, and it's used to designate a pilot selectable AOA reference. The reference is adjusted by two buttons on the side of the indexer. The top button moves the marker closer to the high AOA side, or up, and the button on the bottom moves the marker down towards the low side of the display. As my luck had it, and with an amused cross-arm Ken Bannon watching shotgun in Safe Flight Cessna 172, I flew the SCC on a pretty gusty morning, which was actually good for comparing it to the round dial airspeed indicator in the Cessna. Now my takeaway is that flying the SEC cues was more intuitive for dialing in the correct speed for the conditions, including takeoff and climb. Before takeoff on a gusty runway 36 at Waterbury Oxford Airport in Connecticut, Bannon helped by positioning the AOA reference marker in the center of the display adjacent to a three dot green indication. Now after rotation, using the SEC to maintain a constant on-speed climb proved far easier than it was using a round dial airspeed indicator, which was fluctuating plus and minus 15 knots in the turbulence. Use a speed indexer as a trend indicator, and you'll probably have a better chance of getting the aircraft on speed and keeping it there. I know I did. As for using the SCC for approach and landing, start by flying the aircraft by the book speeds for given gross weight and flap setting. Now, if the system is calibrated properly, the center mark LEDs will be illuminated to indicate either a fast, which is green dots below the center mark, an on speed, five center dots, and a slow speed, which is amber to red dots at the top of the display. Now, the system also has a low airspeed awareness mode, and that means when the airplane reaches the near maximum limit AOA, the indexer will display two flashing red LEDs and sound a Geiger counter-like audio tone through the headsets. Now, Safe Flight's SCC is not approved for any Fiki aircraft. Those are aircraft that are approved for flight into known icing and applicability is determined by the presence of a Safe Flight stall warning system. Now the approved model list is pretty substantial including common single and twin engine models from Beechcraft, Cessna, Piper, Mooney, and Grumman. The system is 1895 and is certified and available now. There's also a 1495 model which is the SSX that's available for experimental airplanes. Now for a full report on Safe Flight's SCC, you can read the October 2015 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. For Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.